Hey Collective, this is Vita back with another message. Hope you're all doing fabulous today. Let's see what Spirit has for you, what Intel Spirit wants you to know. Midas Miser at the bottom of the deck, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Okay, we've got Femme Fatale, Destroyer came out in reverse, intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. So there is a feminine energy collective that is playing the victim. For positive feedback, they have not so good intentions toward you. They literally want to destroy your dreams or potential. They see you as magical. They're quite envious, a bit depressed over it. Hmm. This could be a current friend of yours, an ex-friend someone that you might not even know that's watching you via social media, maybe even going by your home. Hmm. Could be a karmic to an ex-lover. Let's see, what else can we get from these cards? Child Magical. Someone finds you magical and they are envious of that, envious of your gifts, your divine gifts, your presence, how you speak, how you dress, how you carry yourself, and they want to dismantle all of that. Interesting. Child magical. Wheel of Fortune, Good Luck, Destiny, Chance, Karma, Soulmates, Decisive Moments, Cycles. They know you are destined for greatness and so they want to destroy that path for you. And they've attempted to do so several times already. But you continue to sail away you continue to mosey on, do your thing, because you are guided by spirit. You see from a higher perspective. Why is Destroyer here? Regret, Five of Cups. They regret not being able to take you down. And they continue to work diligently at that so, mm, seven of swords behind the eight of pentacles. Who is this cuckoo bird? Who is this cuckoo bird? What the? Femme fatale. <laughs> what the hell? Femme fatale. Oh, bitch. <laughs> swords again. I'm going to cut this short for real because... <laughs> This is bonkers. We got a king of cups. Clarifying the femme fatale. <laughs> and we've got the hermit, major arcana. And we have this eight of swords. Three cards clarifying the femme fatale. So this femme fatale could even be a masculine operating from his feminine side. Or this could be a masculine's counterpart, karmic, wife, mate, whatever. Eight of Swords. So there is some helplessness, some powerlessness. Um, not much 
good is 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 in this energy right here with the seven of swords coming out at the bottom of the deck again followed by the eight of pentacles and we've got the queen of cups here so a lot of emotion they're quite emotional about not being able to stop you not being able to switch places i did do a reading maybe a week ago or two weeks ago about a karmic and a masculine literally wanting to take the destiny take place the place of the divine feminine take her destiny and trade theirs in for hers so that energy looks like it's returned because there's been some sort of entrapment it looks like spirit stepped in spirit stepped in sent in some uh, missionaries lock locking fools up spiritually locking fools up that's what it looks like to me yep the sun things have been illuminated the empress that's right ace of pentacles they are aware that the empress is on her way to receiving a very large gift from the most high and they are having a fit because they have to hang on tight to what they have left to what spirit has yet to strip from them because trust and believe spirit is not done with these karmics it has only just started august is the beginning not the end of you reap what you sow mm, for messing with the mystic for playing with magic casting spells mediator judge mother virgin addict and fool we're talking about grown ass people mothers and fathers of other grown ass people acting like plum fools jealous resentful stuck mentally declining instead of thriving wanting to take it out on an empress who has done nothing to them and then wants to turn around and play the victim come on now come on why is victim here pitiful selves pitiful 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 ace of swords and it kind of came out in reverse lack of ideas intellectual inability failure hostility what did i just say mental decline these people these rats these sewer rats with their smelly wet hair have been in mental decline they are mentally spiritually in prison because they have just been up to no good and, and for no reason, really, for no reason. Let's get another card on this Five of Cups. Let's get another card for this Five of Cups because now I'm just being nosy. And it's been illuminated. Everybody knows the game. Everybody knows. Everybody knows about this King of Wands. Everybody knows what he's been up to that he's sick currently, sick by his own spell work that backfired on him. Sick because he didn't put the work in where he needed to put it in. He went elsewhere and wanted to be devious and defiant and deviant. Now he's moving slow. Still keeping secrets, stuck in illusions. High Priestess is followed by the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm -hmm. Play, 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 and don't be mad when things switch on you, you know? We've got a page of cups, four of swords, magician again. So 
Yeah, we've got a femme fatale. You've got a femme fatale that is not doing so well. Still casting spells, still watching you, along with a masculine energy, a couple. So the best way to deal with any type of energy like this is to just soar higher, soar higher. All right, see you in the next video.